Venus is still often referred to as Earth's twin sister. No other celestial body in the solar system is as similar to our blue home planet in terms of size and mass as Venus. In the past, researchers believed that the two cosmic neighbors had much more in common. The impenetrable veil surrounding Venus was once thought to be a composite of water clouds. However, since the exploration missions carried out in the early 1960s, we know that Venus's closed cloud cover consists mainly of toxic sulfuric acid, which falls into the lower atmospheric layers in the form of a corrosive rain. In view of this situation, one could therefore think that our cosmic neighbor would not be a twin, but rather a poisonous stepsister of the Earth. Nevertheless, some researchers consider it possible that life actually exists on Venus. What supports this groundbreaking theory and how the Parker Solar Probe spacecraft recently succeeded in taking the first visible light images of Venus's hidden surface, we'll tell you now. Want to learn more about the exciting discoveries and breathtaking phenomena in the universe on a regular basis? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to never miss one of our videos again. By giving us a thumbs up, you're showing us that we can keep you engaged with the content of our posts. The Surface of Venus in Visible Light the Parker Solar Probe made headlines several months ago when NASA announced that the spacecraft had succeeded in becoming the first man-made object to get up close and personal with the Sun. Now the unmanned spacecraft has reached another milestone in modern space exploration. It imaged the surface of Venus in visible light for the first time. The groundbreaking images reveal how the planet's glowing hot face, hidden under cloud cover, really presents itself, an insight that had not been previously provided by any other optical instrument. The experts hope that the analysis of the corresponding images will help to raise the understanding of the geology and evolution of our neighboring planet to a completely new level. Although Venus is the third brightest object in the sky, little information was available about the details of its surface. This is due to the planet's thick, cloudy atmosphere, which blocks the terrestrial view into the underlying areas. Hard to believe, but the sensational pictures the Parker Solar Probe made were due to coincidence. During the spacecraft's fourth flyby, the probe's orbit was unexpectedly precisely aligned so that it could scan the entire night side of Venus. To their own surprise, the researchers found during image analysis that the Parker Solar Probe's imaging technique was capable of capturing some of Venus's surface features shining through the planet's thick band of clouds. The images were particularly sensational because most wavelengths of visible light are unable to pass through Venus's atmosphere. With an average temperature of 869 degrees Fahrenheit, the surface of Venus is still so hot even on the night side that the rocky objects there visibly glow. Much much like a piece of iron being pulled from a forge. On the day side of the celestial body, however, the light from these hot surface features is lost as it's outshone by the intense sunlight reflected from the clouds. Because higher elevation areas are typically slightly cooler than lower elevation regions, the images also allowed scientists to determine different surface features of the planet, including the most extensive highland, Aphrodite Terra, as well as the Tellus Regio Plateau. In addition, the images also helped confirm a long-discussed spectacle on Venus, auroras. For example, the images show bright emissions that in all likelihood are associated with the nocturnal emission of molecular oxygen. The in-depth study of the wavelength of the surface glow also promises important insights into the minerals present there. Through the analysis, the researchers hope to get a little closer to answering the central question of how Venus ultimately became a toxic furnace. Life on Venus? A toxic cloud cover composed primarily of sulfuric acid, an atmosphere that is bursting with carbon dioxide, and as just mentioned, a scorching hot average temperature of 869 degrees Fahrenheit. At first glance, one might think that Venus represents something like the prime example of a hostile celestial body. From the conviction that the dense veil of the planet consisted of water clouds, the assumption grew that Venus was an extremely water-rich celestial body. Astronomers of past centuries were already aware that Venus orbits closer to the Sun than the Earth, but how enormous the temperature differences on the two planets might therefore be was completely uncertain. On the contrary, quite a few researchers believe that the impenetrable band of clouds 
would effectively attenuate the incoming solar radiation and thus ensure comfortable temperatures on the planet's surface. So it happened that until the beginning of the 1960s, people drew a picture of Venus that seems almost amusing now in light of our present state of knowledge. According to it, the planet was a damp jungle world and home to diverse living beings. The space probe Mariner 2 destroyed all these breathtaking ideas in one fell swoop. The surface of Venus is simply too hot for life to exist there. As a result of this sobering realization, the general research interest in our cosmic neighbor continued to decline. Those whose interest had not been slowed by the newly won facts occupied themselves from then on with the question of whether Venus was probably habitable in its primeval time, long before the unstoppable, self-reinforcing greenhouse effect began there. A look into the past. In fact, our neighboring planet was not nearly as hot and toxic in the past as it is today. Thus, many experts argue that Venus may have carried large oceans of water, at least over a period of time, based on the assumption that water in a permanently liquid form is one of the elementary building blocks of life. It would be possible that microbial life existed on the primordial Venus. However, the theories in this regard are exclusively in the realm of speculation. Whether the time period when Venus was adorned by liquid water accumulations was long enough for life to develop is thus completely uncertain and varies depending upon the calculation model. Some researchers, convinced that Venus once served as a home for extraterrestrial life forms, stretch this exciting line of thought even a bit further. For some time now, they have been speculating that terrestrial life was once brought from Venus to our blue home planet through panspermia. Life in the atmosphere of Venus? When it comes to the exciting question of possible life on Venus, researchers nowadays no longer turn their gaze to the surface of the celestial body, but to higher realms, the planet's atmosphere. Despite all the sulfuric acid clouds and carbon dioxide deposits, the experts have already come across some exciting anomalies in Venus's natural protective shell. Among other things, the existence of sulfur dioxide and hydrogen sulfide could be detected there, two gases that normally react with each other and do not coexist. Consequently, a process must be taking place in Venus's atmosphere that ensures this unexpected state of equilibrium between the two gases. The assumption that this is a process of biological origin cannot be excluded. Moreover, carbonyl sulfide has been found in Venus's atmosphere, a toxic gas that typically has a biological basis. The mysterious UV absorbers have also puzzled experts for some time. This refers to dark streaks on UV images that cannot be placed in any known context. Hypothetical microorganisms could live in the Venusian clouds and use the UV radiation of the sun as an energy source and in this way produce the puzzling spots. Most excitingly, in 2018, a research study provided the conclusion that the unknown UV absorbers have spectroscopic features that match those of terrestrial microbes. No less exciting were the headlines published at the beginning of 2020. A study recorded evidence that Venus is currently volcanically active. The emissions that enter Venus's atmosphere as part of such processes could serve as an important source of nutrients for potential microbes. However, the researchers always emphasize that the conspicuous features documented so far are by no means direct proof of the existence of life on Venus. They argue it's conceivable that the unexpected conditions are caused by unknown chemical processes. We'll need to be patient before we see the exciting mysteries of Venus solved. We're interested in your opinion. What do you think about the unique images of the surface of Venus in visible light? And what do you think about the exciting theories that deal with the possible existence of life on our neighboring planet? Drop us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Are you in the mood for more interesting contributions on the topic of outer space? Then take a look at the other videos on our channel, which we have linked for you in the credits. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.